So we've got the Nintendo Classic. Everybody knows about the craze of this thing. How hard it was to get. This thing was impossible to get, pretty much, for some people. Despite that, Nintendo said that they claimed that they sold over 2 million of these things still. Mm -hmm. Even though... Where's the evidence? We haven't been seeing them in stores, right? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. Nintendo has gave us a reassurance. Because we've got the Super Nintendo Classic coming out this month on the 29th. As of this recording, September 13th. So it's coming out in just a couple of weeks. And they are going to be having the Super Nintendo Classic. And Nintendo has claimed that they're going to have more units of that available at launch than they sold through all of last year for the NES Classic, which I'm calling bullshit on that. But Nintendo also announced that they're bringing back the NES Classic next summer in 2018, which is really interesting. What do you think about that? Well, first of all, with the NES Classic coming back, I say I will believe it when I see it. <laughs> because, or either that or it's just going to be a scalper's paradise once again. But the fact is, is that all of the whole kerfluffle that was going on with the NES Classic and all of that, I'll believe it when I see it. Um, I'll believe it when I see it with the SNES Classic once again. Because, uh, say, Walmart, for example, they have problems with their pre-orders. And I think some other places have problems with pre-orders as well, dealing with the SNES Classic. But I will say, for one thing, with, the, with, with my experience with getting uh, an NES Classic, I honestly thought that I never would. I ended up going to a local Walmart to check everything out, to ask them about it. I would go, like, every few days or so if I was going to get groceries or something or whatever. And then never had them. There was one day that I went there and I told myself, you know what, I'm going to go and check it out and see if they have one in the electronic section because I almost told myself I wasn't going to bother. And when I went there, they had one left. And I said, okay, I want this right now. I ended up having my buggy with me. I parked it right up next to where the glass case was to block it from anybody else seeing it. And I, <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I actually went to go uh, tell, tell uh, one of the girls that was working there. She's actually a friend of mine too I told her about it and she's like oh man she's like I wish we had some more so that I could end up picking one up and I went ahead and, and got it and, and bought it home, brought it home and played a good bit of it and I had to get one of those extension cables that you put onto the controller because the controller itself is just as short as piss so Which I, uh, I just don't understand why they're so short I have an original <laughs> Nintendo with several controllers yeah. all of those controller cables are like Anywhere between 6 to 10 foot long. It just depends on if you got an original Nintendo controller or an aftermarket and so on. But they're much longer. And this was back when this was back when we were gaming on like 13 to 19 inch TVs. So we had to sit a lot closer to see what's going on. And that I think that was probably one of the things they were trying to do. They were trying to make you be able to mimic what it was like to sit on the floor once again and play Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. No, you... Yeah, exactly. You had to have a really long HDMI cable, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, to yeah. Up to it, but uh, but yeah, I, I happened to get mine at launch. I sat in line for a few hours to get mine because I knew no one Nintendo. It was probably going to be a craze. I didn't think it was going to be as big of a craze as it was. I didn't think it was going to be a short supply as it ended up being. You know, I thought Nintendo was going to be like doing this initial short supply thing, and then Black Friday rolls around, and boom, huge rush of units. So we build up all this hype, and now we've got these units to sell to you. But no, they weren't there at Black Friday. So. Uh, but yeah, anyways, just craziness. So yeah, I, yeah, I, I totally agree with you, man. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? The fact that they announced it, it does have one good effect with this. It probably will affect scalper prices for a while. Because mm -hmm. people know, now that Nintendo said that they're going to bring it back next year, it's now a matter of, do I want to go ahead and pay $250 to this scalper now, so I can get it now? Hell or do no. <laughs> I want to just bypass it and get like a raspberry pie or do something else entirely or do i just want to wait until next year you know so now there's that other choice which ultimately affects the ability of the scalper to control the market so um so i i, I predict that prices will come down a bit 
on the NES Classic because of this. Because they're, the people that are patient enough, they're not going to be as willing to buy it now. So you only mm-hmm. have the total idiots that are going to be buying it now. And yeah, the scalpers are still going to get some bank, but it's not going to be as bad, I don't think. I think the prices will come down because of this. So that's one good thing about this. Even if Nintendo's completely lying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that could be the case. They could just be saying that, trying to actually get people's uh, dandruff up, if you will, for them to be able to be like, oh, Nintendo, you're just lying. You're not going to end up putting out more consoles. And there may be a chance that they, they, they could actually end up doing that. We'll just have to, to wait and see. If that be the case, then, uh, I mean, because there's no chance, no chance in hell that I would ever end up giving a scalper any of my money to be able to get one of those things. I'm either going to pay what the price is that Nintendo is asking, which is eighty dollars, which I understand why they would be pricing it at eighty instead of it just being uh, the usual sixty for the NES Classic. I guess because it was it's like another jump in technology, you know, because it's going to their next console, if you will, like it was back in the nineties. I, I think two reasons. One, it does have a second controller now. Oh, that's good. And the other reason I'm pretty sure is because of the inclusion of Star Fox Two. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I think the same thing myself. Which I actually saw some footage of Star Fox too. And I'm like, why did they not release this? It just looks like for that for that time period, it seemed like it would be really cool to play and have. Yeah, there's actually some really good, interesting stories out there. I I forgot if it was uh, Larry Bundy or if it was Slope's Game Room, but they actually did a story on YouTube about why Nintendo didn't release Star Fox Two. Um, and they totally screwed over the developer because Star Fox, the original Star Fox was not developed by Nintendo. It was developed by a company called Argonaut Software. And I guess they partnered with Nintendo. And I guess Nintendo was so impressed with the tech of this company that instead of just continuing to work with them, they basically tried to steal it from them. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, which is completely ridiculous. Like, you know, like Nintendo knew that they had to have this tech. You know, they, they couldn't just let this independent developer develop this stuff and then, like, decide to branch off to the PlayStation or something like that, which actually there was a PS1 game that was developed by some of the original Star Fox creators, which uh, is another story entirely. But, uh, but yeah, and nonetheless, I would like to see this happen, but, mm-hmm. you know, we'll just see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, because I think Nintendo actually mentioned that beforehand when the NES Classic came out, Mm -hmm. that they were going to end up going and having enough for people to actually buy at launch. And even then, I still think that it was stupid for them to be able to go and cancel the NES Classic, especially putting out such a small amount of units around the holiday time, because it was going to be a hot ticket item. And that was just going to be Nintendo's bread and butter. They were going to make a lot of money off of it. I don't understand why, how it is so many people have claimed like, oh, you know, Nintendo doesn't have to worry about money. They got this bank of Nintendo or whatever it is with all this other money they have stored away. Why is it that they couldn't have actually used that and ended up making more consoles in order to make more money to come in for them, considering they knew it was going to be such a, be such a big item? I just I, yeah, I just thought it was crazy when they decided that they were going to cancel it. But now they're bringing it back, so we'll see if they manage to redeem themselves with those. Subscribe to the DP and me on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. That cookie down now!